I think they stand a real good chance of getting five teams in the tournament, Dick. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Xavier, you look at them right now, they got some good freshmen. They're going to be a team of the future. The Atlantic 10, certainly a quality conference. Temple, I really feel, will definitely be in. in the ball game number 11 working against number 11 Jacques Vaughn Robertson and Pearson back in the lineup for KU Pearson got the screen the feedback the most dangerous guy on the floor is the guy that sets the screen the most dangerous guy Mr. Pollard laid a vicious screen the defense relaxed after the screen. Now watch the screen up on top. He's going to lay the screen, freeze it, right there. Now he's going to release to the basket, and nobody checks him. Watch. See how he releases to the goal? Look at number 31. There he is, the little screen, the little roll, the oldest play in the game. And there he is with the conversion. Pearson with a nice job of getting the feed. One of the seniors that was honored here in the pregame tonight, his parents we're on hand and in the stands tonight. You've seen play for the last time here at uh, Fog Island Fieldhouse. Hey, you talk about seniors. I'll tell you one thing. We never talk about the important managers. You look at the other two seniors right here, Mr. Watley and certainly Mr. Rayford. I'm going to pick my all-managers team one day. Mike Kohler of Kansas is going to be on a team. Chris Johnson of North Carolina. Richard Klinger at UCLA is another great guy. Tony Russell of Kentucky. Jeff Williams down at Duke. What a great job they do. And no... Nobody gives them any credit. The managers, they run the show. They're the right hand lieutenants to the coaches. Nice move by Simeon Haley. I know you got great, great respect for those managers, Ron. How hard they work. They are the unsung guys. They're out here early and they stay late. Mike Kohler does a great job here at Kansas. B.J. Williams off the mark on that one. CBA. We want Watley there, Chad. We want Watley. I'm going to get in the chat. I'm going to be a cheerleader. We want Watley. What do you think, Ron? Can I be a cheerleader? I think you could. Wow. <laughs> T.J. on the bench. Don't want to get hurt here. Don't want to get hurt here. Look away for the smile. With those smiles on the Iowa fans, what he said in his announcement in high school, I'm going to Kansas. His mom and dad, they've got a condo out here they've rented from Rex Walters so they could see him play. Calvin Rayford coming into the ball game. Look at Vaughn, hugging him. Vaughn, and an emotional shot goes kid. out. An emotional kid. My MVP, the Tommy Frazier of Big A basketball. A winner. A winner from Pasadena, California. There's the manager right there. He just hugged the manager. That's the manager right there sitting down. Hey, he's going to make my old manager's team. Mike Kohler. Yeah, big Mike. Stop laughing at me, Ron. Stop laughing. You didn't see what happened. The, the, no, uh, you, were, you were pointing to the telestrator, and those little dots were coming up here, making him look oh, like little, he had freckles. Smile. <laughs> he knows he's getting some AT, some air time. <laughs> the big guy getting some air time. Look at him. Look at him. The manager, they worked so hard. An extension of the code by all manager team. That's right. Mr. Cole. LaFrenz goes out, and Pearson will come in. LaFrenz with eight points tonight, so that means that Pearson will get to finish his last home game. Seven rebounds for the friends as he goes to the bench. And now we await the entrance of Watley to finish the game. And here comes the chant again. We want Watley. Oh, a little pass and go away by Walter, but nobody steps up to the basketball. Here comes here Watley. Comes Watley. Watley. There he comes. Boy, he got an ovation when they introduced him with his parents today. Yes, and that's sir. great. Standing all for Watley. Every team has a Watley. There's the hog. Look at Paulie Pierce. So beautiful to see. So beautiful to see. Young man is a walk-on. And the kind of kid that at practice, he doesn't get to play a lot. His career high is four points. But he works just as hard as everybody else when it comes to practice time. And, and the fans appreciate that. And he also works in a classroom, a civil engineering student. Comes out of Bentonville, where all the offices are. The late Sam Walton, the founder of Walmart. 
They built that beautiful arena down there in Arkansas for the Razorbacks. The Bud Walton Arena, one of the great facilities in America. Wadley, now the crowd wants him to score. As Rock Chalk Jayhawk kicks off here at Fog Island Arena. I love that. Never forget a story by Jimmy V in the tournament as he watched the drive by Wally in the foul. Wally's going to go to the line. The coaches are happy. Happy. The teammates are happy. Look at that mustache. Look at the stash. I'm going to call him Stash. Look at the bench. Look at the bench. Look at everybody else going in. It's supposed to be Wally. Pearson trying <laughs> to take over. No, it's William. <laughs> BJ was about to come in. He said, no, BJ, sit oh, down. Oh, that was BJ. Yeah, BJ. Look at Wally. Spokes it. And then he poses. Then he poses. Matt Doherty loves it. Rafe loves it. The whole team loves it. This is a team, my friends. And I really believe a team that is going to be reckoned with I'm going to tell you something. They're one of my final four teams. I really believe at tournament time, they're going to be tough to be had. Even though I got Kentucky, like everybody else, winning it all. Graham will come down with the rebound. It's 82-58 with about to go under two minutes left in this one. Sports Center standing by Dan Patrick and Carl Rabbit. Coons in the game. Gets the quick pass inside, and Murdoch going to go to the line to shoot a couple. Could have scored that possible little interference. Yes, they do score it. They score the goal. The trail official with Wolfhorn with the ball. One of the games that they'll be talking about on SportsCenter is more on the tight contest between GW and Xavier. You know, I was mentioning earlier Jimmy Valvano. I'll never forget Jimmy V telling me a story. They're playing against Kansas. It's a tournament game. And they're getting beat, and all of a sudden they hear that rock chalk chant. And one of his players, Chris Washburn, came in the huddle. He said, Coach, what is that going on? What's going on here? He said, I knew we were in trouble, man. My players were worried and intimidated by the rock chalk chant. Well, that's a little eerie, and particularly in this arena. Pearson for three. Almost picked his pocket. Inside the jumper won't go, but he'll go to the line for a couple. Well, another top 10 team, uh, the KU football team, received their trophy from their bowl out in Hawaii. It's Bob Frederick in the middle of the athletic director, to Glenn Mason, the head coach. And Calvin Rayford comes up and listen to the ovation for Little C. The last time he wore a uniform here. Last time he said it went really quick. He's had knee surgery. A Pearson positive. comes out. Well, certainly a positive force. Both guys, Pearson and Rayford, they make it happen in practice. They come in, contribute some key minutes. There's the hug. I love seeing that. You know, we hear so many about race problems across America, yet we see the black and white athlete with the love and respect for each other and the tremendous respect for the jersey they wear. It's not about color when you see these kids compete. It's about the jersey they wear and the pride that they like to bring to the universities they represent. We should write more about that. Ransom missed on the turnaround. Murdoch takes it strong to the hoop. Not there. Tip inside. Murdoch playing very hard. Keep working on the inside. Scrapping. A nice look by Wally. Nice play. Great look. Look at the hustle. What's that? Ranson almost came over the table where we were sitting here. But he got his field goal. And he got a big smile on his face as well. And Wally saved it. Coombs misses, misses the second. Murdoch battling inside, and he couldn't get it. I'll tell you one thing. These kids are scrapping and clawing. Wally made a great save. Look at him right here. Watch Wally number 14. Watch the great save. And then he knows what to do. He anticipates. Look at the pass by Robertson. Wally comes out, and look at this ovation. George Washington, Gretzky trade update, and also... Oh, there's the hog. There's the hog. Bodies. Nice job for the senior. Three-pointer on the way. He got it. Robertson 
was almost out of bounds. He was so far out on the wing. I'll tell you one thing about Robertson. He's got a real good future. He hustles. He scraps in that backcourt. Handles the ball fairly well. This is going to be 29 consecutive wins at home for KU. 41 is the leader in NCAA basketball. Coppin State, 32 Memphis. Texas Tech is up there at 29 as well. Hey, Norm, Norm told us the only unbeaten guy. A little trivia right now in Division One and Division Two. That's right, Gary. Yeah. Gary Garner was a former assistant to Norm Stewart. Now at Fort Hayes State is 26 in zip. Used to be a head coach at Drake. Norm was so proud of Gary's record today. So our final score, Kansas 87 and Missouri 65. For Dick Vitale and our entire ESPN crew, Ron Franklin saying so long from Lawrence, Kansas, as the Jayhawks have now won 29 in a row at home. Sports Center is next. Stay tuned.